Good afternoon. Welcome to this video. This video is meant for class uh, 6 students for the subject English Literature. Your syllabus has been extended and that's how I'm doing the poet poetry entitled Captain Oh My Captain written by Walt Whitman. I know the poetry is a bit tough for your standard so I advise you to listen attentively for your understanding. Now, at the end of the explanation of this poetry, I'll be quickly discussing the questions for your, from your text. Uh, so please watch this video till the end. Just a word or two about the poet. Walt Whitman is one of America's greatest poets and still remembered as being one of the biggest patriot of America. Walt Whitman has written this poem O Captain, My Captain, in memory of Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th President of the United States of America. Now, during his presidency, there was a civil war between the Northern and the Southern States of America. The Northern States favored the, uh, the abolition of slavery, but the Southern States were not. Now, Lincoln almost won the war, but unfortunately, he was shot dead at the height of glory. In O oh Captain, My Captain, Whitman refers to Lincoln as the captain of the ship who succeeded in guiding the ship through the storm of the Civil War and brought it to safety to the and brought it safely to the shores. Now, before I actually begin, with the explanation of the poem, I would like to say that there is symbolism in the poetry. Now, symbolism here means something that stands literally as a symbol of living thing. So here, America is being symbolized by the ship. The civil war is being symbolized by the voyage on which the ship goes. The president of America is being symbolized by being the captain of the ship. Now, let me read the first stanza of the poetry. Well, the word meanings are given in your text. So, I'll suggest you to follow uh, the meanings that are given there. Okay. Here I go. Oh, Captain, my captain by Walt Whitman. Oh, Captain, my captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has withered every rack, the prize we sought is won. The port is near, the bells I hear, the people all exulting, while follow eyes the steady keel, the vessel grim and daring. But oh, heart, 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 oh, the bleeding drops of red, where on the deck my captain lies fallen, cold and dead. So the first stanza begins, it says, Oh, Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. The ship has withered every rack. The prize we sought is won. Everybody seems to be in a happy mood at the arrival of the ship. Their joy is manifested by their shouts and ringing of the church bells. The poet is trying to congratulate the Captain by telling him, Oh, my captain, our fearful trip is done. Fearful trip means a trip full of problems, full of pains and sufferings, which is also very frightening. The trip is now over. The ship has fought every wreck bravely like a brave warrior. And now it has won the prize. The prize refers to the end of the civil war. The port is near, the bells are here, the people all exulting. Now try to imagine the scene here. The people are waiting on the shore for the Victoria ship to arrive very eagerly. Okay, people are ringing the bells. Now people are rejoicing, people are happy and they are celebrating the end of the civil war. The end of the war calls for celebration. 
while follow eyes the steady kill the vessel grim and daring now the poet says standing at the shore people focus their attention towards the ship from a distance and the first thing that they see about the ship is the keel of the ship the keel is the tip of the mast now people are eagerly waiting for the ship to arrive so they may so that they may congratulate the captain and celebrate the victory of the war but here there is a sudden change in the mood of the poet but oh heart 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 this word symbolizes the change of mood now despite everything being nice at the seashore there is still an event of sadness and the sadness is that the captain who was leading the ship was no more here the poet is visualizing and giving an imagery that the bleeding body of the captain lies fallen cold and dead on the deck of the ship the deck is the floor of the ship this is the sad part amidst all rejoicing hope you have understood the first paragraph sorry the first stanza now let me proceed to the second stanza oh captain my captain rise up and hear the bells rise up for you the flag is flung for you the bugle trills for you the bucket and ribbon writh for you the shows a crowding for you they call the swaying mass their eager faces turning here captain dear father this arm beneath your head it is some dream that on the deck you have fallen cold and dead now in the second stanza the poet appeals the dead captain to rise and hear the bells of joy he says to the dead captain that people are exulting we have reached the port for you they have crowded on the shore for you they have brought bouquets and ribboned wreaths for you they have flung the flags for you the people are crowding for you they call for you they sway happily everybody is here to celebrate the victory so rise up and then again there is a change of mood here the captain uh, here captain dear father this arm beneath your head it is some dream that on the deck you have fallen cold and dead now the poet cannot believe that Uh, believe the fact that the captain is no more he calls the captain his father to show his personal attachment with him and then places his arm beneath his head to help him rise again so that they can celebrate the victory together he now feels that all these episodes are like a dream that the brave captain should now be lying fallen cold and dead on the deck let me proceed to the third stanza now my captain does not answer his lips are pale and still my father does not feel my arm he has no pulse nor will the ship is anchored safe and sound its voyage closed and done from fearful trip the victor ship come in with object one exult o shores and ring o bells but i with mournful tread walk the deck my captain lies fallen cold and dead in the final verse the captain or sorry the poet realizes that nothing can can bring lincoln back to life because there is no response in the lifeless body the captain's pale lips do not move his body don't uh, have the pulse beat the captain does not even respond when the 
poet offered his arms to support. Now this makes the poet accept the reality of Lincoln's death. The daring ship has arrived after the victory. The people rejoice. The church bell rings. But for the poet, there is no joy nor exaltation because the father and the captain of the nation has fallen cold and dead. He walks in sorrow to the deck of the ship where lies the body of the captain. The poet presents a picture of despair at the end of the poem. Now let me quickly discuss the questions from the text. Turn, Open your book and turn to page number 81 if you are watching this video and if you want to write the answers easily. Okay, question number one. Read the lines and answer the questions that follow. Oh captain, my captain, a fearful trip is done. The ship is the ship has weathered every wreck. The prize we sought is won. The port is near the bells I hear. The people all exulting. Now question number one. A persona is the person who speaks in a poem. Who is the persona? The persona here is the narrator of the poem that is Welt Whitman. Who is the persona addressing in these lines? The person is addressing the captain of the ship that is Abraham Lincoln in these lines. Who is exulting and where are they? The people on the shores are exulting. Now next question. My captain does not answer. His lips are pale and still. My father does not feel my arm. He has no pulse nor will. Question number one, what is the relationship between the captain and the persona? The relationship between the captain and the persona is that of a father and a son. The captain, sorry, the uh, persona is so personally attached to the captain that he calls the captain his father. So the relationship is that of a father and a son. Now, what does the cap? Why does the captain not answer? The captain is lying cold and dead on the deck of the ship, so the captain cannot answer. What word would you use to describe the mood of these uh, lines? Well, we can use the word melancholic mood in order to describe the mood of these lines. I hope you have followed the poem and have enjoyed the poem as well. So, thank you.